Hello and welcome to another discussion on topics in criminology. Today we will be discussing a very, uh, very famous or very well-known uh, phrase in uh, in criminology. This is the phrase: "Do not mix gunpowder with alcohol." Okay, so. In my classes, uh, since uh, I'm I'm an instructor, I'm an instructor for five years now, going six in a uh, criminology school here in the Cordilleras. Uh, I've also encountered this question back when I was still in the undergrad, back when I was still a criminology student, and fortunately, I got the uh, I got the answer correct. Okay, because uh, some some students, uh, as funny as it may be, uh, they they take the question literally or they take the phrase literally. Now, before I before I make the discussion, for those of you who are criminology students, especially here in the Philippines, if you if you want to or if you if you want to enter the uh, Police service, military, air force, navy, PDA, NBI, PNP, the tri bureaus, corrections, and whatsoever. Okay, there will always be a psychiatric exam or a neuro exam. Uh, my first tip there is that do not question the question. Okay, if there's a question there, do do don't, don't question it. Same. Uh, it goes the same with the board exam, ano, with the uh, criminology licensure examination. Do not question the question because you're the examinee, you're the one who's supposed to answer those questions and not question okay, those questions. Well, again, uh, do not question the question because uh, you'll fail your psychiatric exam or your board exam if... If you're that kind of uh, student, which is uh, again, it's actually not bad because you're you're trying to feed yourself with curiosity. People or human beings always have a curious mind, and of course, knowledge is an unending process. Okay, so let me quote again a phrase back in early two thousands, two thousand tens, mga ganun that uh, walang forever actually meron the only thing that's uh, constant here in the world is that knowledge is an unending process learning is an unending process okay no matter how old you are okay still if you're willing if you pursue kung mapursigido ka if you're dedicated then you can always learn new things so again statement phrase you cannot teach an old dog new tricks that's a lie because again it really depends on the person if they want to learn yeah so again let's go to uh, uh, the phrase do not mix alcohol with gunpowder okay so it's quite basic it does not involve any chemical reaction or whatsoever we're not chemists here so we're not going to discuss that the only thing that matters here is that if you encounter this phrase, this question, you always have to bear in mind that gunpowder is always asso associated with your what? With your ammunition, with your cartridge. You have four primary parts of your cartridge or your round, right? You have there the bullet, you have there the cartridge case, you have there the propellant, which is the gunpowder, and of course the priming mixture, which is contained in the primer cup. Now, since Gunpowder is related to to a cartridge, okay, or a live ammunition or a round. Then, saan pa ba ginagamit yung bala? Ginagamit siya sa ano? It's being used on a firearm, right? Now, if you're drunk, if you're tipsy, if uh, you are under the influence of alcohol, okay. By the way, ignore my ignore my shirt, right? It's patterned with uh, it's patterned with the ATF. Uh, 
uh, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, an agency in the United States. I'm not saying that I'm a member, but the shirt just looks cool. That's why I bought it or I'm wearing it. Now, if you're drunk, if you're under the influence of alcohol, again, never handle a firearm. Why? Because, again, you're not in your right state of mind. You're under the influence of a substance which alters your perception of time and space. It's basically a depressant. It slows down your physical and uh, thinking prowess. So, uh, we all know that when we get drunk, when we get tipsy, we always have this effect. And alcoholic uh, beverages have different effects on people. So that's the primary point there, ladies and gentlemen. If you're drunk, don't use a firearm. Don't bring your firearm with you when you go drinking. Don't carry with you your licensed firearm when you plan to, uh, you know, uh, go and party. Okay, go and party all throughout the night. Why? Because you'll end up sh shooting someone. God forbid naman. Okay, you'll end up shooting someone you'll end up hurting someone and of course you might as well end up in prison or jail just because of your discharge or because of your negligent use of your firearm okay so that's the phrase that's basically the interpretation of the phrase if you're drunk if you're under the influence of alcohol do not use your firearm Okay, so thank you for tuning into that discussion and I hope that you will attend the future discussions. Thank you and good day.